This is Channel 4 Television, and it's time to be going out. Over the next six weeks, we follow the fortunes of some 16-year-old school leavers. Tonight, it's the end of term disco, and all is not well. Written by Phil Redmond, it's going out. Scrape this idiot up off the floor now, is it? We don't have to put up with that sort of crap out of you anymore. Don't you talk to me like that, so Oh, what? You'll uh, send us to the head, will you? <laughs> We're finished with this place now, Parky, which means there's nothing you can do. You got that? Yeah. It also means I can push your teeth so far down your throat, you're gonna have to stick your hand up your ass to bite your nails. You got that, Sonny? In your way. <laughs> <laughs> you can have to put up with that sort of crap from him, Rog. Piss <laughs> off. Here, hold up. Do you realise that this is um, a really significant step in our lives, this? What are you going on about? Well, um, as we step over the threshold from childhood to manhood. <laughs> I did that when I was 13. Well, only last week. I'll get lost. Anyway, you won't be needing this anymore, will you? Oh, piss off, Roger! What'd you do that for? You don't need it anymore, do you? Yeah, but my cousin does. He's starting in September. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Sam. I didn't realise. No, you never do, do I'll you? I'll pay for it to be fixed, I promise. Yeah, you're dead right, you will. You coming tonight? I don't know. I didn't think, did I? Yeah, you never do. Are you coming tonight, Henshaw? I might. Are you coming? I couldn't disappoint you all, could I? You always have your strop. Why stop now? <laughs> Watch out for flying magnets, Jules. <laughs> oh, I'd love to get my leg over Henshaw. Put it away before you go blind. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get out of this place. Keep your money. Going. going out. Where to? Don't do that! Well? It's the end of term dance. You never mentioned it. Well? Who else is going? Everyone. Who's everyone? Everyone! Oh, it's going to be a bit crowded, isn't it? If the, all the Indians and the Chinese... Roger, there. Sammy and Daiki. Thanks. But Daiki left last year, didn't he? Why is he going again? Sean, how many times have I told you about that? Now, look, use a glass. What's that small one? Put this jock strap in it. Richard. The shoe, in it? What the shave you got on? Don't know, it's yours. Oh. Thank God for that. I thought I was losing me touch lately. <laughs> that if they come close enough to smell it. I've just ironed all those, love. All right, all right. I need a shirt, well, Which don't one I? do you want? I've got it. Does it feel like I'd be a school leaver now? Same as I felt yesterday. Oh, like an idiot. You should know more about that than me. You've been at it longer. <laughs> That's right. Who said anything about him leaving school? He's got his name down for the sixth form college, hasn't he? There's no reason why he can't go on to do A-levels and university. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely need a university degree to fill in the forms down at Social Security. Don't be cheeky. Well, it's true, isn't it? Oh, I know. Here's trouble. All right, boys. Hi. Where's the other shadow? Oh, he said he'd meet us there. What time will you be back? Don't know. 
What time does it finish? About half ten. Half ten? Make sure you're back here by eleven. What about time to take someone home? Half an hour sufficient. Was in my day. Times have changed, though, Mrs T. I know. That's why he's only got half an hour. <laughs> You'll have to put a badge on, Sean. Can't take anyone home with us more than a mile from the school. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, does that smell you? Leave that out, will you? See ya. See you later, then. Don't forget, 11 o'clock. Yeah. Look, what did you have to come this way for? I like being near Andy so I can check out the talent as it arrives. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, they asked us to keep you away till it got going. Oh, what's that supposed to be? Well, one look at you, face ache, and all the talent were pissed off. All right, Brian? Yeah, Come piss off, Brian. Here, Sean. You told your mum you're leaving school yet? No, I'll have to wait and see what O levels I get. You're not staying on, are you? What else am I supposed to do? Well, sign on the doll. Like you, you mean? Great prospects there. Why not? I'd rather get paid for doing nothing than not get paid for flogging myself for right. Right. Oh, brilliant, that is. You have a few more quid in your pocket for a couple of years, then what? How far are you since you left last year? What do you think you're going to be in two years' time, smart ass? You'll be two years behind me, that's where. This is it. What? I've got to get a bottle. Is that all we come up here for? There's a wine shop opposite the school. Come on. Come on, stand by the door. Just do it. Here we go. Uh, can I have a can of Foster's, please, love? Thanks very much, love. Cheers. Thanks. Jesus Christ, what'd you do that for? <laughs> it was easy, wasn't it? It was easy. Oh, yeah, it's easy to rip off an old oh, lady. You're not going to give me your ten commands. What, someone ever walked in? Well, they didn't know, did they? <laughs> <laughs> it was magic. <laughs> Come on. Let's have some fingers removed for where they shouldn't be. I've got my bottom shoes on and I'm ready to go. You're holding me back. Come on, you'll have to leave. You're going to let me in or what? You see, no. Why don't you do yourself a favour, pal? That's all. Who are you talking to, sunshine? Out. Mr Jackson and party. I think you'll find we're members. No trouble, Jackson, right? Same applies to you, Shields. What do you have to let Peggy set in for? Same reason we've got to let you in for. He belongs here. The only place he belongs is a flaming nut. Oh, okay. Two, please. For Christ's sake, keep your mouth shut. Stop uh, Oh, What's oh, it?
your mum's out about the blazer. Oh, it was only the stitching. I said I'm sorry. Jimmy, give me a second bottle. You not been here long? Let's go and split them up. Waste of time. Why, she's got one, ain't she? Look, we've seen this lot for the last five years. You're not going to get anything here, you know. All right. Come on, Sammy. What? Come on. <laughs> get off, will ya? <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is we never came here, we pushed about. It was no accident. You did it on purpose. I came here for no trouble, all right? Can't be helped. I suggest you and shots his mouth. That's enough. If you don't calm down, you'll have to leave. And you can keep out of it and all. It's between me and her. Not in here, it isn't, Shields. If you can't behave in a decent, civilized manner, you'll have to leave. Yeah? What are you going to do? Hey, is it true you've had three knickers? I bet you've got cobwebs between your legs and all. <laughs> yeah, and what have you got between your legs? A bloody tattoo with welcome written no, on it. No, more like open all hours. Or we never close. Come, come on, it's not worth it. Just come. I think you'd better leave, don't you? Oh, yeah. I'm a little sick. 
Yours worried though, Sam. He was terrified in case he broke his toe against your head. You all right, Sam? Do you want to come back to my house to clean up? I think I'd rather go straight home. Sean. You all right, mate? Hold up, I ain't got any money. I've got 70 pence, you yeah. know. I'm skin, and it'll be at least two quid from here. Look, here. My mum gives me some money for a taxi. I'll pay it back to you tomorrow. That's all right. I'll stick around, OK, in case he shows up again. See you later, anyway. See ya. isn't it? It's all right if you live here. Where do you live? Church View. I see. Never knew you smoked. I do lots of things. Did you enjoy tonight? <laughs> Dance, I mean. Best part of the night, that. It was all right. Pain in the arse. I only went because Joe wanted to. 
She's got what she wanted. For when the fraud arrives. I don't know if you'd be able to, even if you could. You won't get it off Jerry. She's a romantic. <laughs> Roger isn't. He's the two fools or submission man that are Rog. <laughs> How did you feel tonight when we were back in school? Same as I always did. Yeah, that's what I felt. I don't know, I expected to feel different, you know, beginning of a new life and all that. I even walked up to our old classroom to see what it was like at night. Same as in the day, I'd say. Yeah. But it was so quiet. Maybe because no one was there had something to do with that. I don't know, I just expected to feel different. I didn't. It isn't momentous, is it? It's a real anti-climax. You going on the dole tomorrow? Yeah, for no other reason than to keep Dikey company. How long has he been on? Twelve months, poor sod. Must be really getting pissed off. Man. Oh, shit, he's still there. W where does Jerry live? Just down the landing, why? I left him there. I'll, I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Back there. But we'll have to go and get him. I'm sorry, Jerry. Come on, let's go. Look, I'm sorry. You can see him tomorrow. I'm sorry, Jerry. Roger! I'll find you tomorrow. Hello. You're in, are you? Let's take Dikey home. Huh. Drunk again, was he? Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand that father of his. Doesn't he know what's going on? It's because of him, he drinks. Hello. Where'd you get that? Roger got jumped. I went to help. Straight up? Yeah. Hmm. That's a nice set of mates you got there, Sean. Don't let your mother see you doing that. All that. Where is she? She's gone to bed. Lock up when you come up. Over a woman, was it? The fight? Sort of. I hope she was worth it. Where's Sammy? Oh, he's in bed. Christ, you look rough. <laughs> you don't look so brilliant yourself. <laughs> what happened last night? Nothing much. Something must have. I've got these dirty great big red marks all over my back and legs. Oh, you shouldn't get so pissed, should you? Oh. What did your old man say? Oh, he was out of his skull himself. Bloody hell. <laughs> you could start a branch of Alcoholics Anonymous in your house. What's this? Got me a job. Well, an interview. Doing what? Don't care. As long as it gets me out of this place. Do you fancy coming? I always fancy that. Ah, I'm angry. Good morning, my pretty ones. How are you? <laughs> Featuring as ever, or even starring, the Radio Victory Doctor will be with us just after half past eleven. Anybody say anything about your eye last night? I stayed in bed to remember at the salon. That was a good laugh last night. <laughs> yeah, terrific. Did you, uh, see him this morning at the Dole? Oh, he's just getting me in his hide last night when you came in. A million in there. You gonna wait? Better, Ed, just in case. You don't have to hang around, no. though. <laughs> got nothing else to do. Uh, I have. I'll see you later, OK? What? Where are you going? I'll tell you about it later. Well, what's wrong with him? Must have taken a kick in the head last night. Kathy in? No. Uh, do you know what time she'll be back? No. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. See ya.
you doing here, of all places? I was just passing by. Did you come to ask me out? I was hoping you might pick me up at seven. All right. Yeah, all right. How'd you get on? I didn't even see me. Forget it, something will come up. He's tickled your Nigel. When you like tonight. But where are we going? The Angel. You fine? Yeah. Bloody hell, it's not Christmas, is it? You could say that. Except for him. After that skinful last night, you're on orange juice. Yes, ma'am. Sod off. <laughs>